Hey everyone, welcome to Lizzie's Little Library and the Newberry Project. Today's book is the 2006 winner called Crisscross by Lynn Ray Perkins. This book seems to be a companion to another one called All Alone in the Universe, published in 1999. I have not previously read that book. This story begins with our character, Debbie, wishing something good would happen to her. The next chapter introduces Hector, age 14, whose older sister drags him to a music night at the coffee shop, and he decides he wants to learn how to play the guitar. Already, subject-wise, this book seems more of a young adult book than most of the other Newbery winners. There is a lot about the interactions among boys and girls, some mention of kissing, but there are pictures in the chapters, so that, that's some um, inconsistency there. In chapter four, we find out that Debbie and Hector are actually neighbors. They listen to a radio show together, and the name of the radio show is called Crisscross. 300 more pages pass, and nothing really happens. Debbie helps her elderly neighbor with some house chores and meets her grandson. Hector gets better at the guitar and asks a girl to the fair, then runs into her and the quarterback on a date, and I was so secondhand embarrassed and sad for Hector. Lenny, another character, is good at fixing things. All the characters show up at the same pig roast. The end. Wow, was this a bizarre book. Nothing happened. No, that's not true. 300 plus pages of mundane little things happened, but there was no big overarching story. I can't even really describe what it's about or who is even the main character. In a nutshell, a bunch of adolescents live in a small town and do random mundane things. To be frank, I, I really don't even know how this book got published. <laughs> and then it uh, somehow beat four honor books. One is, one of the honors is a nonfiction book about the Hitler youth. Jacqueline Woodson had her first nominee this year. I've read two of her books in the past. I I didn't love either of them, which makes me think I don't love her as an author. And yet, I, I can't say those books are definitely going to be worse than this one was. It's, it's really confusing to me why this was awarded. The characters didn't grow or change in any meaningful way. The plot was non-existent. And it seemed more like a young adult book with several times the characters thought about boyfriends, girlfriends, kissing, holding hands, etc. None of which is a huge deal. It was all very innocent and in fun. It's just it was a lot more grown up than the Newberry route usually travels. The reviews on Goodreads, I, I, I guess I needed some validation that it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it is me, that's okay. But the reviews seemed to be either one star or five. People either loved this book or absolutely hated it. There was very little in between. It wasn't bad in the sense like the books from the 1920s were objectively bad. But I'll never read this book again. In fact, I read it about five weeks before I'm recording this. And if I had not taken notes as I went, I would have had no idea what the book was about. It was completely forgettable. So I have no interest in rereading it. I'm not going to read the companion story. And I can't recommend this book to anyone. So sorry, Miss Perkins, I, I didn't like your book. It's me. It's definitely me. I like my books to have a plot. Sorry. This was crisscross. The next book is, I. <laughs> this is funny, I think I read it and I am completely drawing a blank on what it is. The next winner is called The Higher Power of Lucky by Susan Patron. It might be Patron, it might be Patron, I'm really not too sure the pronunciation on that. I started it. And then we went on vacation and got home a month ago, and I haven't picked it up yet. So, unfortunately, that one is also not one of my gold star books. And honestly, I'm disappointed. I, I, I had this vision through the 30s and the 40s and the 50s that once we hit about the 80s, I thought all the books were going to be sensational and just unputdownable. 
And some of them were. Definitely some of the books in the 90s were really good. But these last couple have just been kind of a dud. So I'm not really sure what's going on with them with the Newberry Committee. And then the 2008 book is about poetry. So there's that. I'm not looking forward to that one either. I'm in a Newberry slump. So thanks for watching. I don't recommend Criss Cross. It was not my cup of tea. I, if, you know, if you got something out of it, please explain it. I, I didn't get it. it. I just did not get it. And I, I don't think kids would either. And it's not that we necessarily want to force feed kids every single thing about a story. But if I was bored, and I am a super avid reader, I, I read close to 150 books a year. If a reader who reads this much was just absolutely bored and had, having trouble following it, I can't see like any fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade kids liking it. So it was disappointing. I feel disappointed going through this review. I don't recommend it. So that was crisscross. Thanks for watching. I will finish The Higher Power of Lucky and get that one posted. Bye.